I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the pin oak. Pin oak, Quercus palustris, is a member of the red oak group, and it's one of the 13 red oaks native to Kentucky. Other common names are swamp oak, water oak, and swamp Spanish oak. It's a fast-growing, moderately large tree, and on good sites, trees can grow up to 24 inches in diameter and up to 120, 120 feet in 75 years. It's a short-lived species that reaches physiological maturity around 80 years of age. As with most oaks, it's an important wildlife tree, especially for bottomland water birds. Pin oak transplants well and is tolerant of many urban stresses, so it's been a favored tree for streets and landscapes. Pin oak's native range is from Massachusetts west to Wisconsin and south to Arkansas and Tennessee. It's found in the central and western parts of Kentucky. Pin oak grows on alluvial floodplains with poorly drained clay soils as well as poorly drained upland soils composed of glacial till. It tolerates intermittent flooding during the dormant season and its best development is in the Ohio Valley. Trees grown in forest stands tend to have narrow crowns, but open-grown trees develop wide, symmetrical crowns. Its characteristic branching habit gives the tree a distinctive pyramidal shape. Pin oak is not self-pruning. Many of the lower bowl branches remain alive on open-grown trees, and although most of these branches die in closed, forested stands, the dead branches are retained for many years. This characteristic causes many small pin knots in the lumber. It is classified as intolerant of shade and is generally less tolerant than elm, box elder, sweet gum, and hackberry, but more tolerant than eastern cottonwood and black willow. Pin oak is deciduous with alternately arranged simple leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are three to six inches long and they're oblong or oval in shape with five to nine bristle tipped lobes. The sinuses between the lobes are irregularly deep and usually U-shaped and they may extend all the way to the midrib. The leaves are bright green above and pale below with small tufts in the leaf vein axle. Autumn color may be a somewhat showy scarlet to a russet brown. Pin oak is monoecious, meaning a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are born in slender yellow-green catkins, and the female flowers are sh on short reddish spikes that are born in the new leaf axle. The flowers appear as the leaves develop in the spring, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is an acorn. It's round. It's about a half inch long and has a flattened saucer-like cap. The acorns typically have striations. Pin oak begins seed production around 20 years of age, and the acorns mature after two years. Seeds are dispersed from fall to early winter and will germinate the following spring. Squirrels, mice, blue jays, and woodpeckers aid in seed dispersal. Pin oak also reproduces by root and stump sprouts, especially on young trees. The bark is gray-brown and relatively thin, and it remains pretty smooth for many years, but does eventually develop thin ridges and furrows as the tree ages. Pin oak wood falls into the red oak group and has many of the same traits as northern red oak, Quercus rubra. It's hard and it's strong. It's typically light to medium reddish brown in color, but there can be a fair amount of color variation. It is ring porous with two to four rows of large early wood pores, the pores are vessels that are formed in the spring, and numerous small late wood pores, the pores are vessels that are formed in the summer. The pores do not contain tyloses as with other red oaks, and the growth rings are distinct. It has minimal durability to decay, and the wood is lumped with other red oaks and used for construction, cabinetry, furniture, flooring, and veneer. The occurrence of numerous small knots in the wood of many pin oak trees limit its use for high quality wood products. Like other oaks, pin oak is an important tree for wildlife. In fact, the National Wildlife Federation lists oaks as one of the top 10 best trees for wildlife. Mammals, including white-tailed deer and squirrels, eat the acorns, as well as many bird species, including wild turkey, woodpeckers, blue jays, and numerous waterfowl. Wood duck and mallards rely on the acorns during fall migration. And oaks are also a larval host for several lepidopterans, including the imperial moth, and several species of hair streaks and dusky wings. 
the national champion pin oak, as of 2021, is in Lake Ohio. It's 245 inches in circumference, 104 feet tall, with a crown spread of 117 feet. The Kentucky champion pin oak is in Davis County, and it's 210 inches in circumference, 95 feet tall, with a crown spread of 99 feet. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Foundation Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about pin oak. The common name is believed to be derived from the prevalence of the short pin-like branches on the trunk. A black ink can be made from twig galls that are found on the pin oak. And Native Americans use the wood to, to make fasteners and they also use other parts of the tree for a variety of medicines. Pin oak, along with a few other oak species and American beech, commonly retain their leaves through winter, especially on juvenile trees. This is called marcescence. The leaves die but remain attached until new leaves appear the following spring. The scientific name Quercus is Latin for oak, and the specific epithet palustris means of marshland or of swamps, referring to its natural habitat. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodlands, a local park, or neighborhood and see this interesting red oak.